Sun put his soapy hands on concrete years ago, and there are still permanent, invisible handprints that show up when the concrete gets wet. Okay, yep, just... Oh, <gasps> yo, ghosties! We got little ghosty baby prints! That's... Oh, that's actually kind of terrifying thinking about it that way. Hold on. What? Could you imagine just, like, buying a house, and then one day you're just, you know, like, you're just washing your driveway or whatever, or it starts raining, and you just notice these ghostly handprints starting to peer around your property? I would freak the hell out. Oh, <laughs> I am curious as to what's causing this. I'm reckoning it's something like uh, they mentioned soapy hands. So I'm assuming maybe some oils in the soap kind of like baked in and created like a sealant on that part of the concrete. I just checked the comments. I just scrolled very far down in Reddit comments and that's a dangerous thing. Uh, but it seems like a, some people are confirming what I'm saying to a degree. Uh, in other words, the polymer oils left on his hands act as a sealer to the concrete. Concrete is very absorbent. If you look at the car, car oil stains on the driveways, they are too hydrophobic in those areas. So yeah, roughly, science, woo. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen and today I have a lot more energy than yesterday's video. If you can't notice, I slept. <laughs> and today we're taking another delve into r slash black magic tomfoolery. If you're looking for videos or gifts or anything of just things that seem like just magic and there's no explanation for it. So let's just jump straight in, shall we? It's easy to perform white magic. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, so it's just one of these, uh, what are they called? Danganrumpet? Nope. <laughs> I can't remember what these are called. We don't have them over here. Yeah, it's just fancy cooking. Okay, so double the egg. Yeah. Okay, nothing in there. You put the egg in just behind. The egg's already just gone in. When he picked... Yeah, there we go. Okay, now there's three eggs. Fantastic. No, we saw a video of like how these tricks are done like in the latest duo video and now I can't unsee how it's done and it just kind of ruined it for me. So I'm going to say skip ahead uh, to this time frame on screen if you don't want to know how this is done. You see when he's holding the bowl, uh, the, he's slipping the egg underneath there as it goes. So as you can see, like uh, he switches the hand, the egg's already underneath the bowl and he slides under. So he's putting it under and it's just like misdirection with the other hand. That's all it is. It's still a very neat trick and when it's done extremely well, very entertaining. Fire from above. All right, we've got another cooking one. Putting water into the oil. Huh? Wait, what? 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 Hold on. <laughs> that was some Roy Mustang crap going on. What was that? I, I, what did you put in? That was obviously creating like combustible gas, but how did you cause the fire? How, oh, no, 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 no. How did this happen? This is so cool. Top comment. This guy looks so surprised he actually just did that. <laughs> actually, I don't want to look into how this is done. I just want to appreciate it for what it is. A Pythagorean cup. Okay, so pouring in some water. It's got that little loop in there. Okay. I have no idea what to expect with this, by the way. Okay, so it's getting up to a certain point. And... More water? More water. Okay. Is the loop... Oh, is this going to start? Yeah, okay. So it starts it off, and now it's all getting pulled through the loop in the cup. And it's now dribbling out at the bottom. Uh, not a good design for a cup, I would say. Um, <laughs> kind of want to keep the liquid in there, but if you're trying to like, <laughs> if you're trying to stop drinking, I guess this is a good way to curb how much you're taking in. <laughs> if your cup just starts going, you're drinking too much, mate. No, I'm just going to start pooping it out now. Okay, there goes, there it goes. You should, you shouldn't have drank that much. You should not have drank that much. This is really neat. And I'm not sure of how this actually works. I'm assuming the air in the tube, eventually the, the pressure of the water pushing into the other side of it, it just starts uh, pushing the air out and then causes a vacuum, causing everything else to get pulled through. That's my theory. I don't know if that's true. Moving on. Drawing a circle with a right angle. Oh. Uh. Okay. That is really neat. And... I guess, I, I guess if you want to draw a circle and you only have a right angle on hand with two nails, it's a very, very specific situation, I would assume. This is the way to do it. That's really neat. Maths, man. It's it's crazy. The comments are coming in clutch here. This works because if you draw two lines from the ends of a diameter to any point on the circumference, it will form a right angle. The angle of the circumference as a semicircle is always 90 degrees. Yep, this is called Thales Theorem, apparently. Wow. Cheat code unlocked. Video game physics. 
A O Ja Ło <laughs> I am just amazed at this. That lady don't give a damn. I <laughs> That is some incredible body control. Holy crap. Dude is just become the noodle. That's incredible. You won't. I got this. You see this penny? I see I, it. Why should we make it magically I see it. disappear? For oh, where's the, where's the penny gone? Magic! I got it. That worked. Oh, yeah. Shit. Ah! <gasps> Perfectly cut screams. That was a perfectly cut scream. This is a this is a sign. We need to go back to do more perfectly cut screams. Lumo, I know you're editing this right now. We need we need we need a petition to quiet. We need to get perfectly cut screams. I think it's time. It's think it's time. I just love perfectly cut screams. We need to do more. Also, the dude made the penny disappear and it was an orange. That was cool. Hehe. <laughs> Fascinating metal rings change multiple colors. All right, cool, 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 cool. So you got little metal rings there. Uh huh. Uh, Pouring them in multiple different liquids. Okay, so they metal. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, oh, whoa, huh? Hold on, you can't be doing this. You can't be doing this. This is, this is a brand's product and it's no longer Pride Month. You cannot be showing these colors. <laughs> I do not know what is happening here, but it's neat. And I just realized that they're using a uh, crocodile clip. So they're putting some sort of um, electrical current through this and in the liquid. So I don't know what's causing it to change colors. Maybe it's the coat, whatever they coated it in with the liquid or whatever. Or it's something to do with the metal. I don't know. It's neat though. All I know is those rings are very moody right now. <laughs> Jojo fans approve with how mother frickin' face. Yo! There's the coil music! Yeah, okay. This is really cool. Even I know, even I know this song, and I've never watched JoJo. Oh, I'm just jamming out now. Okay, that's really cool. That's really cool. I absolutely love just watching people make music with just Tesla coils and electric coils and all that kind of stuff. It's so neat. Like, the amount of effort and whatnot goes into it, and just, oh, it's just so cool. Some sorcerer going on at Wimbledon. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's one of the Wizards of Wiz Wimbledon. <laughs> Is it Wizards of Wimbledon? Hold on, what's that Disney show? Wizards of Waverly Place, isn't it? Yeah, it's Wizards of Waverly Place. Well, I mean, Waverly Place and Wimbledon, they both start with W's, and this dude is probably from Waverly. I don't know, but that's, that's really cool. Like, a little slight hand. The dude to the left is just like, you, you doing your thing again? Okay, he's doing his thing. Never mind. <laughs> wizards of Wimbledon. <laughs> just tennis wizards. Bottle flying behind car. Huh? W mm -hmm. What is... I'm not... Is it... A string is my first thought. Second thought is maybe like different winds. Like I, I know wind goes like above a car and can go under and get like swept up and whatnot. Maybe it's caught in like just like the perfect storm. In a sense, I, I don't know how to explain this. I don't know. I'm my brain is giga smooth today. All I'm thinking of is if the per <laughs> all I'm thinking of is just the driver's probably freaking out seeing just a floating bottle chasing them down the highway. <laughs> Step on it. It's still there. It won't leave us be. I can't shake the bottle. <laughs> Drive faster. There's a gravity void in my kitchen. All right. Show me. Okay. Okay. Nice little, uh, what? The little, what? The little soap bubble would just be floating. <gasps> what? W what? Okay. My, okay, main thoughts. Maybe it's stuck on a spider web. Uh, or maybe there's a slight, ever so slight breeze coming from somewhere. That's neat. Although, uh, ghosts? <laughs> Why would there be a ghost, Alex? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm slowly losing my mind and soap bubble ghosts. Just sounds really cute for some reason to me. The infinity coffee table. This is really cool, but really impractical. <laughs> it's impractical. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just one long bit of metal just welded together. So it's it's been held up from the ground. It's a table. It's a table with just a, a neat design. That's all. Really cool though. 
just hope they don't sell them in Ikea, because that's going to be a pain in the ass to put together. I just rediscovered this and will never understand it. Little bit, little candle on fire. Blow it out. Light the smoke. And it'll go back down and light up the wick. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You're struggling, you're struggling, but you got it, roundabout. There. Yeah. I don't understand it either, but it's really neat. Oh, top comment again, coming in clutch. Firefighter here. It's called, it's called pyrolysis, where you burn a log, or in this case, wax. You would turn it into a vapor, then that is actually what's burning. Backdrafts occur because the smoke is actually just a product of incomplete combustion, and when exposed to a rush of air and an ignition source, it explodes. Oh, so candles putting out a bunch of just combustible gas. That's... It's not enough to be a danger in the household, but still, it's really neat for little tricks like this. And I learned stuff about firefighting a little bit. Bioluminescence. This is so cool. Oh, it's just... If I remember correctly, it's it's like either algae or it's like some sort of plant matter or just like little... If I remember correctly, what's causing all of this is just like little microorganisms that just emit light with stimuli. I've seen videos of people just like rowing through these kind of places with like lakes with just where it's just a bioluminescence lake kind of thing. And it just looks magical. It's so cool. And I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised we haven't had that in drinks so far. You know, <laughs> get your bioluminescent Pepsi. Oh, God. Well, it would help peeing at night be a lot easier at least. And on that weird note, <laughs> that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you like the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing or maybe even sharing with a friend and being like, yo, this this stuff weird. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> if you want to see some more r slash black magic tomfoolery, stick around for just a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host Zen and I hope to see you in the very next video. Have a great rest of your day.